Hello and welcome to video number four in the module number three in the course where we are discussing business strategies. In this video, we are going to talk about differentiation competitive strategy. It's the next one from the generic competitive strategies. In the previous one, we discussed cost leadership. Now we go for the other extreme, which is a differentiation. And I have a definition for you straight away. Differentiation involves uniqueness along some dimension that is sufficiently valued by customers to allow price premium. I think you are already getting the point. If we are the differentiator, we would like to charge a premium price. We would like to be very expensive so that our margin is very high and we can achieve a lot of profit. Now, it is not so easy to be uh, uh, able to charge customers much more than what the average competitor charges. Well, how can you achieve that? We already have that in the definition. We need to identify some dimension which is valued by our customer and then uh, sort of offer great value on this dimension. So if we look at the clothing stores, maybe uh, uh, one dimension that is particularly valued by customers when it comes to clothing stores is the size and the variety of the offering within this clothing store. So we can focus that our shops are very large and we have large variety of offer within our shop because this is the dimension that we have identified as being valued by our customers. And if we do that, we will be able to charge presumably higher price than average competitors. Well, is this going to work? Is it not going to work? That is always the question. That is why you need to go step by step. First of all, you need to identify these key dimensions that are valued by your customers. And when you do that, you need to act upon these dimensions very well. And just then it hopefully is going to work and you will be a successful differentiator being able to ask for a premium price. So um, we are going to now do an exercise that I have done several times in various companies. It was always nice to do this exercise to identify the key dimensions and position ourselves within these and also our competitors. But just to say, it's not like that, that there would be always two key dimensions in our business or within our industry. No, there are many dimensions that you can pick for this exercise, but your task as a successful business analyst is to take the key two of them or key couple of them. So there are always many alternatives on to picking these dimensions. Let's go for the exercise. As you can see, we have an example from American airline companies. This should be from somewhere around 2005. Our first dimension that we identified are service attributes. Is the traveling with this airline comfortable? Is the personnel exceptionally helpful and friendly? And so on and so on. The other dimension is flight performance attributes, such as are the flights on time? Now, we plot each of the American airlines. As you can see, Alaska Airlines scores the highest on flight performance attributes, while United the lowest. From the other dimension, Southwest scores highest on the service attributes, while many other airlines such as United or Delta are on the other extreme. This kind of exercise can really help you identifying where you are on the market and what can you improve? Of course, it's going to tell you whether you can ask for a premium price. As you can see, once we identify the key dimensions, the rest of the exercise is quite simple. We can plot the competitors quite easily and, and see whether we perform well on the key dimensions. So when you are picking the dimensions, which is the key part of this exercise, um, you can consider two factors. First of them, Think about a strategic customer. Who is the strategic customer for you? Well, usually it's, it, it feels very straightforward. Hey, this is going to be my strategic customer. Say people aged 25 to 35 who are tech savvy and are having sort of higher income. Well, it's not always that straightforward. For instance, think about newspaper companies. Who is the strategic customer for a newspaper companies? Is it the readers? or the advertisers. The revenue is coming from both sides. But if we don't have the readers, 
we don't need the advertisers and on the other hand if we don't have the advertisers probably we will not have high enough revenues from the readers themselves so who is the key customer for us or the strategic customer for us that is one thing that you always have to keep in mind when constructing the differentiation exercise second factor key competitors well um, i have seen this in practice uh, sometimes when you are doing the differentiation exercise you tend to draw the dimensions or or draw the market too tightly so that um, it it shows for you very favorable situation so you don't consider all of your competitors and you co don't consider their advantages towards the customers so for instance an example would be italian company i think they are italian benetton they were uh, creating these nice colorful pullovers but they failed to recognize that this niche can be addressed by the generalist companies such as mark spencer they can produce colorful pullovers as well this kind of a knitwear well and what benetton was thinking hey we are so great at creating these colorful pullovers that this this dimension that we have created is going to help us survive in the future and retain high revenues and high profits however all of a sudden generalists came such as mark spencer and they served this niche as well and the niche was satisfied with lower quality of the products maybe not so distinctive design of the product but they were happy and all of a sudden benetton simply by failing to recognize that their dimension along which they are trying to be unique is not so important dimension for the customer so you always need to keep the competitors in mind when designing this so and that is all for the differentiation strategy we talked about the need to identify key dimensions along we can along which we can differentiate ourselves if we successfully do so then we will be able to ask for a premium price and that is all from this video I'm looking forward to see you in the upcoming ones.